Hey there, in this quick screencast, I'm gonna show you how to edit your bash shell prompt. And if you're unfamiliar with what your bash shell prompt is, you can look on the screen and you can see that that is the current prompt that you have in your terminal. As soon as you open up a new terminal, you usually see your username and that is followed by a dollar sign and that is your bash shell prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to edit that so we can enter in any type of words that we want, any emoticon and even the present working directory that we're currently in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit my bash profile Usually you, if you're in bash shell, you will edit your bash RC or your bash profile. If you're in Z shell, you will edit your ZSHRC file, but I'm in bash right now. So I will open up my bash profile and you may see contents inside of that file, but you can go ahead and just go down to the bottom and you'll want to type in PS1 equals, and then we'll even just type in hello. So if we write that in and we write and quit that file and we open up a new terminal, you can see that we have hello written there just like that, we edited our bash shell prompt. But let's go ahead and do a little bit cooler things with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file again. And instead I am going to write in my username and to print out who you are, who you're currently logged in, you'll do the who am I command. And if we write that and we save it and I open up a new terminal, it'll say my name right there. And you can see that if I write in who am I here, then sure enough, it prints out my name. Uh, what we're gonna do after the who am I is we're gonna write in present working directory, which is gonna show the current directory that we're in. So let's go ahead and go back to that file. And after the who am I, I am going to enter in the dollar sign again, and then inside the parentheses PWD. And I'll have a space right there. So if I write and quit that, and now I open up a new terminal, you can see that we're now inside of uh, the user's Tony directory and our current user is Tony. So now every time we open up a new terminal, we'll see the current user that we're logged in as and the current directory that we're in as well. So that just makes it easy for editing files and seeing the current directory that you're in. Notice if you do say, now we go into my documents, it is not going to change right there. If now we open up a new terminal window, it'll actually show that we're in users slash our username and then documents. I will show you in a future video how to get the current directory that you're in every single time you change directories. But just for now, I wanted to show you how to edit the bash shell prompt and I hope you find this useful.